Hi, I'm Hannah Howard and welcome to the Local Roundup. So guess what? It looks like now you can text and drive. With the Google car, you don't even have to watch where you're going. Google plans to build and launch onto city streets a small fleet of subcompact cars that could operate without a driver. The car will be powered by electricity and could go about 100 miles before charging. They won't have steering wheels or brakes, but they will have buttons just in case of an emergency situation. This car gets 100 miles to the charge, and another car that gets 100 miles to the gallon is the world's smallest car, the Peel P50. It's probably not the safest car. You gotta watch those turns, but it is easy to park. This could be just the ticket for parking in downtown Durango. Parking is also tough in residential areas of Durango. The problem? Vacation rentals. The ordinance covering vacation rentals in downtown Durango and in its established neighborhoods is not a done deal yet. Residents who are upset with the ordinance are talking about taking the matters to voters. It is a sticky situation because people with spare room want to earn rental income, while neighbors say short-term visitors make noise, strew trash, and take up much-needed parking spaces. From competition for parking spaces to competition for water, a resource in high demand here in the Four Corners. But one group is making headway eradicating a non-native plant that is clogging our waterways. The tamarisk plant is a non-native invasive plant that crowds out native plants, provides poor habitat for wildlife, and can suck up to 200 gallons of water per day. A coalition of land managers, ecologists, and young adults are making headway in eradicating tamarisk and restoring the shores along the Dolores River. So far, they have cleared 198 acres and will be clearing another 85 this summer. It's a great success story. The Dolores River is also getting attention from environmental activists. They feel the BLM is doing a poor job at managing the flow of water into the Dolores River. At issue, the fill then spill policy that starves the river of water while filling up McPhee Reservoir. This in turn damages the ecosystem of the river below the dam. Environmentalists and conservationists want to find a better way to manage the water flow for wildlife, irrigation and recreation. Yesterday in Durango, young cyclists enjoyed the warm weather and some fun riding in Buckley Park. These little riders made their way around a course at Buckley Park for the Devo Junior Fun Race, culminating the spring season for the Youth Development Cycling Organization. While kids enjoyed bike riding, adults enjoyed the high water on the Animus. Yesterday, local businesses got together for the 13th annual Battle of the Animus Rafting Competition. You can watch more on this epic competition today on In the Neighborhood at 3 p.m. on FourCornersTV.com. I'm Hannah Howard with the Local Roundup. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.